Hi guys, this is Kathy here on my YouTube channel, Kathy's World. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Well, today we find ourselves in September, and that means October is coming, and that also means we need to find some good October reads. Hopefully some of them are scary for Halloween. So I have chosen 10 books that I would recommend for October of 2022. Let's take a look. I also put a link in my blog post, which I will put a link to in the description box if you want to take a look at the books more closely. They take you to Amazon, and there you can decide if you want to purchase one. All right, here we go. Here are some books. Some of these I will be reading, some I've already read, and some I probably won't buy, but I just want to suggest them because they sounded good. I'm going to give you a little synopsis for each book, very short. The first book is Thinner by Stephen King. This one really sounds kind of good. Stephen King's Thinner. Billy Halleck commits vehicular manslaughter when his lack of attention results in the death of an old gypsy lady on the street. Erwin Halleck is a lawyer with connections, though, and he gets off with a slap on the wrist. After the trial, the victim's ancient father curses him with a single word, Thinner. Shedding weight by the week, Halleck is desperate enough for one last gamble, one that will lead him to a nightmare showdown with the forces of evil melting his flesh away. That one sounds pretty interesting to me, but I don't have that one and I'm not going to be reading it in October, although it sounds very interesting. The next one is Stolen Tongues, and this one I am going to read in October. This is by Felix Blackwell. On the picture here it says Stolen Tongues, there's a house in the distance, nothing else around, and there's something walking toward the house. Does he steal tongues? I don't know. A romantic cabin getaway doesn't go exactly as planned. High up on the windswept cliffs of Pale Peak, Faye and Felix celebrate their new engagement. But soon a chorus of ghastly noises erupts from the nearby woods, the screams of animals, the cries of children, and the mad babble of a hundred mournful voices. The dark figure looms. The dark figure looms near the windows in the dead of night, whispering to Faye. As the weather turns deadly, Felix discovers that his terrified fiance isn't just mumbling in her sleep. She's whispering back. I have a feeling this is going to be a scary October read, but I'm going to read it, unless I can't handle it. The next one is Scritch Scratch. This is a middle grade book. This appears to be a city. It says something terrible followed her home. And there's someone on the bus and it says spirits here. The book is by Lindsay Curry. This book is for fans of Small Spaces and the Goosebumps series, which I have not read. But here comes a chilling ghost story based on a real Chicago history about a malevolent spirit, an unlucky girl, and a haunting mystery that will tie the two together. That sounds good. Another one I'm gonna read is by an author named Shirley Jackson. It's called We Have Always Lived in the Castle taking readers deep into a labyrinth of dark neurosis. We Have Always Lived in the Castle is a deliciously unsettling novel about a perverse, isolated, and possibly murderous family and the struggle that ensues when a cousin arrives at their estate. The picture on that one, I don't have it in front of me, but it's a picture of these, it's a drawing of these really, they're kind of frail looking, scary people. <laughs> So I guess they're the ones that live in the castle. The fifth one is The Lost Ones by Anita Frank. Reeling from the death of her fiance, Stella Markham welcomes the opportunity to stay with her pregnant sister, Madeline, at her imposing country mansion. It's always an imposing mansion or a castle. But she arrives to discover a house of unease and her sister gripped by fear and suspicion. Before long, strange incidents begin to trouble Stella, sobbing in the night, little footsteps on the stairs, and as events escalate, she finds herself drawn to the tragic history of the house. Aided by a wounded war veteran, Stella steps about uncovering Grace Wick's dark and terrible secrets. Secrets the dead whisper from the other side. Well, that sounds good. Looks like a good October read. Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. Number six. At the end of a dark prairie road nearly forgotten in the Kansas countryside is the Finch House. For years, it has remained empty, overgrown, abandoned. Soon the door will be open for the first time in decades, but something is waiting, lurking in the shadows, anxious to meet its new guests. So that sounds good too. Now I'm gonna recommend three that I have read. The first one is The Whisper Man by Alex North. Just a black, just a black cover here. I don't know when the 
paper cover looked like, but this is all I got when I ordered the book. In this dark, suspenseful thriller, Alex North weaves a multi-generational tale of a father and a son caught in the crosshairs of an investigation to catch a serial killer preying on the small town. I gave this four stars. It was good. I'll just tell you that the person that's preying on these people whispers outside the window. So that was kind of creepy. My daughter liked this book, and she doesn't read all that much. But when she does read a book, she wants an edge of your seat book, and she enjoyed this one. So I did too. Four stars. Now this book... This book is difficult. This book created in me a visceral reaction. I couldn't... I didn't want to put it down. Not because it was something good that was happened. It was because I wanted to know what was going to happen. I was on the edge of my seat. I was scared to death for the people in this book. I have not had a visceral reaction with a book that I can remember. This one, I was nervous every time I was reading it. It's called Fierce Kingdom, a novel by Jen Phillips. And on YouTube, when people were reviewing books, this got everywhere from zero or one star, and other people gave it five stars, so you love it or you hate it. I hated what was happening in this book, but I couldn't stop reading it because I had to know what was going to happen. I'll just tell you about a mom and her son and they end up in a very dangerous situation, and it's definitely edge of your seat. I really liked it. I'll read the synopsis for you. The zoo is nearly empty as Joan and her four-year-old son soak up the last few moments of playtime. They are happy, and the day has been close to perfect, but what Joan sees as she hustles her son toward the exit gate minutes before closing time sends her sprinting back into the zoo, her child in her arms, and for the next three hours, the entire scope of the novel, she keeps on running. And she does. I gave this five stars because of the visceral reaction, because I couldn't breathe. I think the reason that it affected me so much was that it could happen. This is a fiction book, but it could easily be nonfiction. So it's a good book. The last one that I read, I don't know when I read this, I gave it four stars. This is your typical haunted house story. A lot of creepy things, a lot of weird things. It would definitely never, ever, ever happen, but I actually really enjoyed it. I'll give you one quote from, I don't know if it's on the book jacket, but somewhere. Only one thing is certain. Ashburn's dead are not at rest. And they are not. So, but it's a fun read. So what am I reading for October? I am going to be reading... There's a new book that came out. This is number 10. It's Fairy Tale by Stephen King. And I ordered it on Audible. I already have it. I've already started it. I know it's not October yet, but it is a 24-hour long Audible read. So I thought, I need to get started on this. So I started it. I'm really enjoying it. I'll read the synopsis here for you. Legendary storyteller Stephen King goes deep into the well of his imagination in this spellbinding novel about a 17-year-old boy who inherits the keys to a parallel world where good and evil are at war and the stakes could not be higher for their world or ours. And I have not gotten to the parallel world yet. I have listened to maybe four hours, but the story is told so well I have not gotten bored in the least. I like the characters. It's intriguing. The, whoever narrates it does an amazing job. I feel like I'm there. Sometimes it's so well described. Not flowery and over the top, but just so well described. So I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm going to read that one. I'm going to read We Have Always Lived in the Castle. I'm going to read this book, which I own. The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. This is a book of the month read. Sometimes crimes come back to haunt you. A true crime blogger gets more than she bargained for while interviewing the woman acquitted of two cold case slayings in this chilling new novel from the best-selling author of Sundown Motel. So I will look forward to reading that too. And the other one I'm going to read is Scritch Scratch and Stolen Tongues. So it should be a good reading month in October. I'm looking really forward to it. All right, guys, I'd like to know what you're reading for October. You have any suggestions? Put it in the description box for me. If you've read any of these, let me know. I would love to know how you felt about them. So you guys take care. Happy reading, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.